so I was able to uh, recover from that mess last night. Uh, I had about two thirds of the way through that, and that uh, setup let go on me. It was never good in the, to start with, so I guess I was kind of half expecting it to. But anyway, we're back in business. This is the non-bearing uh, side, so. Um, This uh, this has just got to be straight and enough clearance in there for the uh, for the adjusting screw to work. So next is bringing through. This is the old gib bringing through the oil hole. This is about where the oil comes in from the knee and it has to travel um, up through here through the gib and then start to oil the bearing side. So. I'm just going to set up in the drill press here and drill through. Uh, this will be a through hole here. This one over here will just be a, a hole to accept the oil coming through from the knee and then we'll join these two here with a groove. And then same thing on the back side, join the hole over to this groove. Because we got this on an angle, I'm going to try and just Run a little uh, end mill down in there to create a little spot to get the drill started straight. It'd be much easier if I had a mill. Still wandering, I'm gonna get a bigger flat in there. If you can see it on camera, those chips are falling over the edge like a waterfall there. It's pretty neat. So 
so I've got that hole punched through there. Next thing I'm going to do is at the other end of this line here, where the uh, oil comes through uh, the knee, I'm going to put a little dimple in there and then we'll join these two together. So that's just a little dimple just to make sure as the oil comes through from the knee that it can collect there and then transfer up to this. So I've got the gib on the uh, magnetic chuck here and i got my uh, grooving tool in the scraper. So now we're just going to put a groove in between those two holes. I'm going to put a straight edge on there just to get myself a nice start. enough to get that started and then there's a groove there that uh, the tool will follow. This is one of the other tools that I use, is a, it's just an insert on the end of a piece of rod here.
It's the two holes connected now. So now that I've got the oil hole um, and groove to transfer this, this would be the adjustment within the to allow for some adjustment within the gib, which feeds oil up through the gib and then to the to the bearing surface side. So what I want to do is just to make sure now that I've been banging away at this thing, putting in grooves and in the key slot there, I want to make sure it still blues up. sure it still blues up and looks straight. Feels good. It's going to be hard to see on camera but it looks good too so I did have a little spot up here where I had been knocking on the end of the gib to get it out of the machine. It had uh, mushroomed up some metal on the end here, so I did uh, hit that, and then I did one more, one more uh, scrape pass all across the whole thing. So finish is looking pretty good right now. Next is uh, we're going to try it in the machine with some uh, oil and the adjusting screw.